Some of the most healthy people I know are looked upon by some of the most unhealthy people I know as kooks and as psychopaths and as people who have eating disorders. And I was once convicted or I was once thought to have an eating disorder myself. I know plenty, plenty, plenty of my friends have also been accused of having eating disorders because they're getting their life in order by eating healthy foods at the exclusion of eating unhealthy foods. So if eating healthy foods at the exclusion of eating unhealthy foods is considered a disorder, then the people who think that are disordered. Honestly, like when people are getting their life in order, that's not a disorder. My life has never been more orderly. My life has never been more centered. My life has never felt as good as it feels right now. I don't think I have an eating disorder. I think I used to have an eating disorder and I've gotten rid of that eating disorder. My disorder used to be that I couldn't stop eating a food until the food was gone, until the food was no longer there, until I ate all of the food, until I would be in a food coma, until I would just feel absolutely sick to my stomach. Even when I knew that that food wasn't good for me, even when I knew that that food would cause a gut ache or cause a heartburn or headache, or cause me to feel very, very tired afterwards, I would go for the food anyway. Just self-abuse. And now that I eat foods that allow me to feel my best, now that I eat foods that would grow naturally in nature and I could walk up and just eat them in nature as they're found without having to cook them or process them in any way, shape or form, once I'm eating the way every other animal in nature eats, this is when people think I have a disorder. It's so strange that people, people think that. I suppose I did too when I was not vegan. In fact, give this video a thumbs up right now if you're vegan. I'd appreciate that. Give this video a thumbs up right now if you're vegan. And when I wasn't vegan, I would think that non-vegans, I mean, sorry, when I wasn't vegan, I would think that vegans were loonies. I think they're kooks. I think they're psycho. I think they're deficient. I think they're malnourished. I think they're pale and skinny and scrawny and weak and punk and just like anti-social people. And now I've realized that vegans are like the biggest go-getters I know, man. They're the people who, who want to really change the world for the better by doing no harm. Like, why would you make fun of someone who's not doing any harm? It's crazy, bro. You know why you do it? Because you want to justify how you feel for doing harm. So, I would make fun of vegans and say, for every animal you don't eat, I'll eat five. Because I wanted to justify, I need to put them down so, so that I could look like I'm on their level. You know, when people are trying to bring you down or pull you down, it's because they see you as above. They feel like you're above them. Subconsciously, they might not be consciously aware of that, but subconsciously, they feel that you're superior to them, so they want to bring you down. But you gotta remember that quote, a lion never loses sleep over the opinion of a sheep. So when you know that you're right, when you know you're doing the right thing, by eating a fruit diet, by focusing on the fruit, eating 100% raw, eating as much raw as you can, eating mostly raw, and people like your family or friends say, you know, what you're doing isn't right. What you're doing is, is uh, it's just not healthy. Then you need to take a look at their life. You need to take a look at their eyes and see if they're healthy. See their attitude towards life and ask yourself, is that the attitude that you want to take on? Or do you want to take on the attitude of the fruitarians on YouTube, on the vegans on YouTube? Do you want to take on the attitude of the positive people out there? I would vouch for the latter, man. I've been to fruit festivals and I see these 40, 50, 60, 70 year old people who've been eating raw vegan for 20, 30, 40 years. And I'm like, damn, I want that. I want what they have. And then people in the family come up to me and talk to me, they're like overweight or they're sick or they have disease. And I'm like, bro, I don't even want what you have. Like, it's okay. I understand I'm not gonna have what you have by eating the way I'm eating. And that's exactly why I'm eating the way I'm eating because I don't want what you have. We have the same genetics and I don't want that. So you kind of got to go your own path and set an example, man. And there's going to be a lot of people. It's so strange. One of the strangest things in life is having someone hate you at one point or be against you at one point or think you're annoying at one point or think you're ridiculous at one point in life and then come back a couple years later, maybe even 12 years later, come back and say, bro, like, I'm actually like all for you. I'm a fan now. I actually watch your stuff. I like your stuff. You're inspiring. 
It's so strange because the last memory you have of this person is them being against you and now they're with you. It's like, what? Are they actually with you? Are they just saying that or do they actually have a change of, a change of heart? They become awake. Have they become aware? Have they seen the light? I just saw a funny joke this morning on my Facebook. I was asking people for some vegan jokes and someone's like, how many meat eaters does it take to screw in a light bulb? Answer, none. They'd rather stay in the dark. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Just want to give you guys props for doing what you do. Being vegans, being raw vegans, being beacons of light for people who need it most. And uh, persevering, pushing through, man. Doing what you know is right. Doing what you know is right in the face of thousands of people, perhaps millions of people who think you're not doing it right. <laughs> Just keep setting the example, man. That's all you can do. Set the example, get the results. And take advice, man. Take advice and take inspiration from the people who are living the life that you want to live. Absolutely, 100%. Peace. <laughs> some fresh mangoes. Where are they from? Breakfast. Where are these from? Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Ever been to Puerto Rico? Yes, you've had some, you know, I know you've had Filipino mangoes though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Filipinos are called the Carabao mango. And uh, at home in Australia, we have the Kensington Pride. We have the uh, Sensation mango from Florida, which is a nice one. How many mangoes have you eaten in your entire life? How many mangoes have I eaten? I have grown 30 different varieties of mangoes on my property in Australia. So I've eaten thousands of mangoes. Over 10,000? Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, when you sometimes sit down and have 10 or 12 mangoes, just for your first meal, yeah. that's the idea. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy your mangoes, Rob. Thank you.